Welcome to the review of the C-Ray SLX 310 outboard. Uh, we'll start today walking all the way from the transom up to the bow. Uh, so let's get started with your power package for the SLX 310. Um, first note, you can get it in both outboard as well as stern drive. For the outboards, there are twin 300 horsepowers available um, as the standard, and then it goes up to twin 350 horsepower in both black and white. It also comes with Mercury's joystick technology um, called joystick piloting for outboards, and that way very easy to maneuver in and out of docks or in tight spaces. So another great feature that we have on this C-Ray SLX 310 outboard is a swim step. So you can very quickly fold it down um, and that helps for getting in and out of the water very easily. When you come around to the seating on the transom, uh, we have convertible seating so you can actually lift up if you're sitting on the back looking to see what's going on around you. You can raise up the seats and have very comfortable seating as well as obviously before being able to lay down on the sun pad. Um, in addition, back here, we have a transom remote for the stereo. So really easy access for those tunes so you can jam when you're back here uh, listening to your music or out in the water. Um, of note as well, and we'll see this throughout the entire boat, is the upholstery. Um, so we have contrast stitching, uh, diamond, uh, double diamond stitching on this boat, as well as some really nice detail in the upholstery. A few items to point out as we walk into the vessel through the walkthrough. Um, first, that we have Sea Deck uh, as an option on the swim platform coming through the walkthrough. In addition, we have very convenient access to the battery switches so that you're able to turn them on right when you're walking on the boat or as you're coming off, as well as a transom shower and a very simple boarding step. As you come into the cockpit, you'll first notice that we have the optional fiberglass hardtop. The standard for this boat is actually a aluminum power tower, which electrically actuates up and down with the canvas. Uh, for the fiberglass hardtop that you see here, uh, there are two features that you should be aware of. In the center section, it actually moves forward and aft so that you're able to either get a lot of sunlight or cover up when it's really hot out. In addition to that, there's an electrically actuated sure shade off the back of the boat uh, to cover you up even when you're on the sun pad. In the cockpit of the SLX 310 outboard, we have really premium features for your passengers um, in a very social seating area that really helps out with conversation and um, gathering while underway or at rest. Uh, there are a lot of premium features in this vessel, such as vinyl wrapped grab handles, and again, pointing out in the upholstery, some really nice stitching detail, um, as well as some fine detail in uh, the vinyl. As we come towards the wet bar, uh, this has the optional grill, which is great for cooking some hot dogs for the kids or kebabs for the family. It also has an optional refrigerator and a sink for washing your hands off as you're cooking or coming out of the salt water. Speaking of a very social layout, the passenger helm actually reverses so that the passengers can join in conversation with the rest of the cockpit. The SLX 310 has a very modern dash that's intuitive to use with loads of technology. So looking first at the displays, there are two 12-inch displays as an option on this boat, but it comes standard with two 9-inch displays. You have your choice of where you show each function, but it, as you're seeing it right now, we have the digital switching for the boat um, up on your display to the left, and on the right, we have Mercury Vessel View. So each boat also comes standard with Vessel View Link, which gives you all your engine data as well as diagnostics. A little bit lower in the dash, we have a Fusion Stereo, uh, which controls four zones on this boat from the bow, cockpit, the tower speakers, as well as the transom. Uh, this is the premium system that comes with a subwoofer as well and really great sound for being out on the water or playing in the water around the boat. So as discussed earlier, this boat has the optional joystick system, which is great for close quarters maneuvering, whether it be at the dock or at other places on the water. Uh, this boat also has the optional active trim, which will trim the engines, and available is also our DRS system, which will automatically adjust your tabs as you get up underway. Underneath the port helm is a very well-appointed head. Included in the head is a sink and some very nice detail work uh, with premium finishes. There are several features to talk about in the bow of this boat. So starting at the front, there's an optional windlass, in addition to a bow sprayer and a spotlight. 
As we move more into the, the bow of the boat, you can see again the really nice upholstery detailing, as well as within the combing with contrast stitching. And there's plenty of storage as well. So on the starboard side, you can open up this compartment to have access to underneath the helm, where we have storage right now for an optional bow filler cushion area, so you can turn this entire area into a sun pad. Thanks for joining us today on this walkthrough of the SLX 310 outboard. You can build your own SLX 310 on SeaRay.com.